All right, I'm here to present you today with my first guide for the average player. It is for Alex Draws of the Life Binder and Heroes of the Storm. Whether you are a new player to the hero or the game as a whole, this is the guide for you. I'm Cece for Let's Cece Play. Let's get right into it. Welcome to the beginning of the guide. We're gonna start out very simple and basics. We're gonna go through Alex Draws's basic abilities then I will walk you through how I build her and how every talent changes the way you play as the game goes on and then we'll jump into some clips I've been gathering so I can demonstrate how to apply these against actual people not just a target dummy all right so Alex draws us Q her bread and butter ability well, what it does is it's basically a hill that costs your health to heal someone else for a really large amount. So right now we're only level one. Um, it'll cost me 15% of my uh, current life. So if you get really low on health, the healing of this goes down. And so it's really important to sort of be careful about what you do and also use your other abilities to keep your life pool really high. So we'll demonstrate it here uh, on this little guy. Um, this little UI element above her health bar will give you an idea of what uh, the healing amount will be for her current life. So if I hit this a few times, it goes down. And as you can see, once you get down to about 50% health or less, it really becomes noticeable about how much health you're losing. Luckily, Alex Shaza also has a way to heal herself on a somewhat lengthy cooldown. Uh, and that is with abundance. Unfortunately, the cooldown is 60 seconds, but what this does is it'll put a little circle on the ground, and you or any allies who stand in it will heal 20% of their life. So this is really good for you in staying healthy, but it also can lead to really big heals if you have beefy people like your tanks, and especially Cho'Gal. I think an Alex draws a Cho'Gal combo on the right map can be incredibly powerful, but for a different video. Let's demonstrate this here on that little guy and ourselves. Pretty straightforward, goes off after a couple seconds. You do need to be careful because people don't really like uh, letting you use that or your allies. So the enemy team comp may try to uh, stop you or harass you if you try to stand still in it. So what I recommend doing is if this was the enemy team, dropping it back a bit. So I would say maybe put it right here. That gives the people who are low and have peeled out of the fight time to walk back, get the heal, and get back in there. Okay. For Alex Straza's E, this is probably the easiest ability to overlook and forget that you have it and also how strong it is. Um, your E is Flame Buffet. Um, it throws a fireball. The first file bar that hits them gives them a little bit of a dot. It's the subsequent fireballs that's really where this ability shines. Um, it applies a debuff for 5.5 seconds. So take your time when you're aiming your subsequent fireballs because hitting it is huge and can make a big difference, especially if your team is soaking well. So you can kind of just roam around killing people keeping them out there soaking longer, especially in the early game, and ganking people with Flame Buffet can really change the pace of a game. So we'll look at this now. Fireball, it's got a pretty decent range, as demonstrated there, and while they're burning, when you hit them again, it's gonna crit, um, in, a, in uh, a sense of the words. Uh, and the big benefit, Alex Strauss is never gonna be really high up in the hero damage category, but you can will people down if they underestimate you, if you end up having to soak for some reason. And another huge thing is that it slows. It slows by 40% decaying over two seconds. This is a really effective tool for ganking, especially if the lane you're ganking for has a, another hero that has a little bit of a CC. If they can stun them for just a second to let you start that slow, and really just pump these bad boys out. Because let me turn cooldowns back yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. 
you have only a two second cooldown. You can really crank these out, chase someone down, <laughs> and really ruin their day. Alright. The last basic ability Alexstrasza has is Dragon Queen. It has a huge cooldown. 150 seconds. But it's worth it. If you can learn to use this a little preemptively, so guessing when you're going to need it, you can change almost any team fight around, unless it just had like a really bad start, like two people died before the whole team was there. Um, but as long as you can get there while everyone's still alive, you have a really good chance of turning it around if you use this correctly. Um, basically what it does is it increases your maximum health, and if you're damaged, it will give you some health back as you pop it. So, um, to show this, I'm going to turn off the cooldown for a second, and I will demonstrate this part right here by taking some damage with the turrets. So, I'm taking damage, I'm hurt, my heals aren't very good, so what I can do here is I can drop my W on myself, blow Dragon Queen, and I kind of timed that wrong, but my health went up a little bit. And even more than that, uh, when I go back to humanoid form, I will have more health because of that increase. So, see, I was about half, now I'm almost back up to 75%. Alright, so now let's cover the abilities of Dragon Queen. Uh, the first thing you'll probably notice, you may have already noticed, is it changes her auto attack. It is a cone, it does pretty okay damage. Um, if you're good with Stutter Stephanie, and you really follow someone with this, you can provide a lot of benefits, because it also heals your team. So you can see here, this little dude getting a little bit of healing. Maybe not enough to write home about, but in the heat of a really important team fight, every little bit gives you a chance to turn it around. Alright, so let's go over her basic abilities. So the first uh, one is Wing Buffet. It will knock them back, do a little bit of damage, not too much, and slow them by 50% for 3 seconds. That's really good, especially if you need to knock somebody off of a squishy in the back line, or even just to disengage a fight. Alright, one more time. Her W and Q are basically exactly the same, just improved. So her Q heals for more because she has a higher max health, and it only has a 3 second cooldown. And her W is the exact same thing, it's just bigger, and instead of a 20% heal, it hits you and your allies for 30%. Alright? Um. We're gonna get into the build now, and I'll explain the alt I'm recommending and why uh, when we get to it. So let's crank our level up to a nice 20, and it's gonna put me all the way back here. How rude, but we can start talking while we walk back. Okay, the first one is live and let live. You're gonna notice a theme of staying healthy as Alex Straza. Um, so live and let live reduces the cooldown of your heal by half as long as you're healthy. Let's grab that. Number four is exuberance. Um, while you're healthy, you move 15% faster. Now, you're probably being like, whoa, you're going a little fast. Um, and the reason for this is, Alex Straza takes off at seven. Once you get level seven, your healing potential goes off the charts. So, let's grab that and we'll bring it all together here at level seven. So, Life Blossom. While Alex Straza is above 75% health, Gift of Life creates a Life Blossom at the target's location. Alex Straza can collect the Life Blossom to make her next Gift of Life cost no health. So if you are healthy and you use Exuberance to gather these Life Blossoms, you will basically be able to just heal until you lose that health because it's not going to cost you health anymore to be healing. So let's show this here. I drop it on him. Oops, I was a little close and I automatically grabbed it. But, as you can see here, it doesn't cost health anymore, and there's the flower. Just walk over it, and back up a little bit. Um, what I like to do is I like to use exuberance, get close to somebody that I'm about to heal, so like, I have a second left. Get close, throw it, you'll immediately pick up the flower, because you're uh, right next to him, and then you can just back up. This may take a little bit of practice, because a lot of times you're going to end up healing your tank, and they're probably right there, face to face, with the enemy tank. Um, so, uh, that's, uh, that's basically the way this works. 
um, the reasoning for it is, or the reasoning for the first three talents is because they just synergize really well. Uh, the reduced cooldown, as long as you're using Life Blossom right, you're not going to go below 75% health, and you're going to keep uh, getting a three and a half second cooldown on Gift of Life. That's a lot of healing right there. 825, you probably won't stay at absolute max health through a fight, but if you do it right, you make good uses of your abundance on yourself. You can keep yourself going and be pumping out those hills. It is not that hard. Even if you lose, if you win, you can break 6k really easy with Alex Straza once you kind of get the basics down. So the alt I'm recommending is Life Binder. I used to always go with Cleansing Flame, but it's kind of like Dragon Queen. You need to preemptively use it. There's a wind-up time. There's a really hefty wind-up time. But with Life Binder, there's no wind-up time. Uh, and you can also use it on yourself. That's something Cleansing Flame can't do. When you pop Cleansing Flame, Alexstrasza is not technically on the field anymore. With Life Binder, though, it's, it's got half the cooldown. You can heal yourself with it if you have to. And um, because it, you can use it either way, if you lose your Life Blossom and you're in the heat of a fight, Dragon Queen's already been used. You can use Life Blinder to just get your flower back, and that's huge. I think more than anything else, keeping your flower as much as you can. Um, you will need to learn when you have to lose it. There will be times someone is deep. You can hit them with the hill, but you're not going to be able to walk over there and get it. They're surrounded. They are in deep. You're going to have to hit them with the Q, hit them with Life Binder if you have it, and just get them out of there. So that's probably, I think, one of the biggest things that'll separate a good Alexstrasza from a bad one is when to throw your flower away, because sometimes you will unfortunately have to. But we'll get into that a bit more uh, when I bring up the clips. Let's talk about Life Binder real quick. So the way it works is it's going to give you and your target a heal over time. And then when it's done, it's going to equalize your health. So see, I'm really hurt here. If I come over here to my little friend, and I throw it on him, my health is ticking up, his health is ticking up, and when it ended, it set him to my percentage of health if uh, if I'm the one with more health, or vice versa. If he had been full health, or almost full health when I used him, the ticks would have probably got him to full health, and then I would have been full health instead. So if we use it one more time, pretty straightforward uh, once you get the hang of it. So for 13, 13... Like 10 is going to give you a new ability that can really change things for you. I recommend Pacify. Even if they don't have someone like, say, a Greymane or an Illidan who is going to be diving, you still can use it in other ways. Um, the most straightforward example is someone dives you or one of your squishies. Uh, you just push it on them because what it does is it shrinks them. They are now moving half as fast and they are doing half as much damage. And just a couple seconds of getting your squishies away to safety so they can retaliate can change things drastically. You can also use it in other ways. Uh, say if you're trying to disengage but the enemy team, uh, like a tank Varian with Taunt or a Johanna is trying to chase you and taunt you or pull you in because your team's low, you can blow it on the tank. Uh, the lag behind, you can get out of there. They weren't able to CC you for their DPS. Everyone's fine. And if uh, you're still roaming when you get this, or, you know, at the end of a team fight, the stragglers are trying to get away, you can throw it on them to secure the kill as well. 16 and 20 are really huge, but they're not going to add any more complexity. They're just going to enhance the things you're already doing. So, for 16, I like tough love. While you're healthy, you grant... People 20% armor for two seconds. And if you're new to the game, armor is basically just the way of the game saying you are taking this much less damage for however long it lasts. So in this case, you're taking 20% less damage for two seconds. So, you know, it doesn't really change the way you play. You know, if somebody's in deep or they're just poking at you, they're taking less damage and you're giving them those really big, awesome heals. And the last one is... Ritual of Life. This is crazy good. Um, so let's go take a little bit more damage to demonstrate it. Uh, and while we're taking that, 
we'll read it. So, Life Binder activates three times over six seconds. Sounds pretty straightforward, and we'll demonstrate that here and now. So, boom, 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 goes off, boom, 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 goes off, boom, 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 goes off. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, it is really hard. You throw this on a sturdy tank, and they can just get in there, they can get the CC off, they can disrupt the enemy team, uh, you can save your squishies, you can really turn things around after level 20. In fact, if you get behind with Alexstrasza, I recommend never losing hope. Because she she's not the strongest until level 7. Then it really starts to take off after there. And then 10, you get your ultimate. 13 gives you just a little bit more utility. 16 and 20 make it just that much easier to save people. That is what I love about Alexstrasza. There are not many characters that can save people quite like Alexstrasza can save people. Um, that covers uh, the basics though. So let's jump into some of the clips and I will provide you the ways to utilize this in actual matches when Hopefully, the people you're playing with and against aren't just a dummy. Alright, in this first clip, this is just a very straightforward beginning of the game opening engagement. You can see right here, I'm throwing Abundance back so my people can come back and get it. I'm also making sure to stand in it myself to recoup the health I'm losing to my Q. And as you can see here, sorry for the lag, I try to stay really far back, especially before I'm picking up those life blossoms. Alright, right here, uh, once again, sorry for the lag, I'm still figuring out what my computer can handle when it comes to HOTS and OBS, but here I demonstrate roaming around. Uh, so, I stopped middle, Topped off Sylvanas and threw a couple of fireballs to get him off. And then I come down here to gank Rainer. Blaze sees me coming, gets that stun. I get that fireball slow rolling, and boom, he goes down. Nice and easy. Alright, so here a fight is about to break out over the objective in which I'm going to use Dragon Queen initially to get my blaze out, but it works out well enough that we are able to turn around the fight a little bit, stall them, and then get out of there all alive. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to Dragon Queen in a safe place so they can't interrupt it. I'm going to immediately use my improved W right in the fight. It is strong enough, it will keep them in there, and I'm just trying to keep auto-attacking at an angle that lets me hit uh, my allies and the enemies, while also utilizing the stronger Q to give them just enough health to get us out of here. And like I said, we don't win this fight, but I didn't lose either of them. And sometimes that's the best thing you can do as a healer, is just keep the death to a minimum, don't let the enemy team get that XP, and get ready to make a comeback. Alright, in this clip I'm going to show you how I go about gathering life blossoms during a fight. So I didn't have one when it started, but there I am, next to the person I'm healing, I get that first one off and I'm still above 75%. If you're high health, usually the first Q will not uh, make you lose that 75% health threshold. And as you can see, I am not afraid to get close to them, because I go in and out when I want the flower right there. Flower is pretty close, I wait for my opportunity, I get in there and grab it, and I just do my best to stay healthy and avoid damage. Alright, in this clip I demonstrate what I like to call priming the life blossom. So I know I am close to level 7. So what I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to get above that threshold to get life blossom up as soon as possible. One thing though is you never want to let people die. So, if somebody needs a heal, heal them, you can get Life Blossom. But, here I was lucky, I was able to get the Life Blossom, and now I just have to wait a few more seconds to get one more Abundance on myself, and then I will be able to have a Life Blossom. And here's another example of grabbing the flower. Even though he dies and they are right there, I'm still able to get the flower and get out. Alright, 
All right, in this clip, I just came out of Dragon Queen, and I'm going to utilize my high health percentage to save our Blaze and keep him in the fight, and eventually we're able to disengage, and once again, we didn't lose anything, and that's huge, especially when you're behind like we are here. Here, I'm going to use Pacify to get the Diablo away from my team. This fight goes south. We lose the fort, and they're really trying to lock us down. See, I stopped Diablo. Varian wasn't quite close enough, and even though they pursue, they wasn't able to really lock us down with the CC and finish anyone. Thank you so much for watching the guide. I hope it helped you and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you'd like to see more guides and more Let's Plays, Spudscribe, become a potato today. We'll cause a ruckus together. If there is something else you'd like to see, uh, just let me know down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Bye.